Yo, yo, yo. What's up again? What's up? What's up? I salute my people. How on a day? Um, this is my last video. Then it's my weekend. These are my weekend videos. That's why they are there because I'm usually at home. What I call it my room. What I'm renting here. And uh, why am I showing a device on the wall and in a dark place? Because I'm almost about to quit in a year. And the meter is just a few, it's just left with 3.8 kilowatts. And I'm so excited. Have you ever seen somebody get excited because the light is about to go off? I'm just a fucking weird guy. But I have my own way of life and I just don't like this company's services. You understand? I'm looking for the code. Because it's a code that you can check how much uh, is left in your account. And I think it's 805. Uh, I usually forget. No, it's not 805. No. But even if I don't press anything, they usually show it there. It was 3.82. I just wanted to like use it in front of you and show you what it is like. It's like the thing is rechargeable and you just recharge it with your phone, with your mobile money and then you can control what you consume. Oh, it's 3.81 kilowatts left. And if you could see that, that's, you're lucky because it's dark here. But I'm about to take on this challenge in continuing my renaissance, the set ons, the independence total. And I want to be able to, I, we live in Cameroon, we have sun, we have all sorts of renewable energy. And I just want to take this time and suffer a bit here, but to liberate myself completely, to have like my own supply of electricity that I move with and that can power me, my, my own living standard, like a small room uh without any without any problem you know i should be able to do that i mean we went to school i wasn't the most the happiest physics student i wasn't the most joyful mat mathematician student in class but uh, i think my school started after school because that's when i could really get to educate myself the way i like to educate myself i'm just weird like that and uh, it's now that i'm really liking to go back to my school because I'm choosing what my kind of education I'm doing and I want to apply it in this I want to solve this problem in my life um, I don't count on the government I don't count on people I don't count on others coming to solve my problem and I think because of that uh, I can push myself to like like just challenge myself oh this is my kitchen just challenge myself to solving my own problems and to practicing what I preach. I'm big on that. I don't say it, but I just do my thing because it has to be real. So I'm about to, I think this thing will last a couple of days, one day, maybe more than one, because I just get up, iron my clothes and go to work, come back and heat water, make my tea, charge my phone. I don't really do any other thing. If I'm using any other thing, it's my phone. Oh, sorry for the alarm. And uh, that's the radio. I have to listen to the radio. But I have my fan. That I, it's a small AC kind of fan that my elder sister offered to me. And uh, I just that's all I have. Once the thing is done, I will just get out of it. And uh, I trust my God, man. I will be able to liberate myself to like, I'm to like be autonomous. If I had the means, if I have like the financial means to buy all that stuff, I would have done that. But I'm still really struggling with my startup, and uh, these videos can help me to, to shed more light on my business. I do music. I'm a musician, and I have a studio. My business is in music. My vision is to succeed as an artist in Cameroon, and to have a business that runs around my music and my talent. In Cameroon, people just don't believe in their talent that much, and I want to be the one that will set that make that change for myself and for the generations coming behind me to make them see that if you put in your all like you could really be autonomous in this country i mean in other countries people say yeah yeah it's possible but here people don't believe in that 
I'm like a, one of the few people now in the entire thing doing this. I go out, I promote my songs on Sundays, I sing my own music, I write my songs, I have my own producer, we try to have customers come and pay for beats in our studios and all that. And if we can get more customers and if we can get more people coming to pay my business, I mean, I think my economy is going to be stable. And that will mean that I can keep doing things like this, uh, trying to create a, a solution for light. Like I want a permanent solution. I don't want to buy, have to buy solar panels each time. I can start by buying and studying how the solar panels work. But then I need to like see how we can empower the youth to like create our own system. It must not be solar, but to create something, a system around us that we can recycle energy. And I have a formula in my head. I just, I'm just looking for the right group of youths to engage in it, and I'll get there. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And the day I'm going to be quitting in the year, I'm going to show you guys, do another video, and then I'll take you through, through my struggle. Like, people don't usually document their struggle. We just see successful people who have much money and who have done this, this, after. But I'm in the journey, and this is not even the beginning of my journey. If I showed you the early, early beginning, I mean, you you understand, it would have been a more than 10 year journey by now, but I wasn't ready mentally to get connected here. And I didn't have the maturity to really handle this media well. So now, um, I'm going berserk, as <laughs> Eminem will say. And uh, let's do this together, you know. As usual, subscribe, watch, comment. Click the notification bell, gossip about what I'm saying, and then let's let's keep in touch. You know, feel free to talk to me. Um, apart from that, take care of your health, take care of your money, take care of your kids, your family, take care of your your, your, your yourself, and uh, uh, just be positive. See you on the next time.